We continue now with our team coverage of the winter storm that is battering our area and forcing people to have to dig out of their sidewalks and driveways. JT Seskowski is live in, on Madison's west side where he's been speaking with homeowners and city staff in charge of clearing the streets. JT, hey! Hello, Sarah. Uh, yes, uh, we're out here live on Madison's west side where people are trying to beat back the storm with shovels and snow blowers. Some of the people I talked to said that they have plans to come out multiple times yet during the storm to try and keep their property clear of snow. Now, I also talked to the Madison Streets Division that has told me that they want people to try and keep the uh, uh, they want people to try and keep the snow uh, out of the street, pile it in their terrace or in their yard try to stack it high to keep the streets clear. Pushing it into the street after plowing is done can create dangerous slick spots and putting it in the street before plowing is counterproductive. The plows will just push it right back in. I also spoke to one man who just bought his first home. It's a corner lot that he has to shovel by hand because the hardware store was sold out of the snowblower he wanted. It's actually one of the coolest things that I've ever experienced is that I came out here yesterday uh, to shovel at about 730 in the morning to go to work and all of my neighbors were out shoveling. And so you could just say, hi neighbor, hi neighbor, hi neighbor, and see like 10 other people in the exact same boat you're in. He, he hopes that his good spirits hold up for more rounds of shoveling he will have to do this weekend. And, and this snow is deceptive. It looks like the white fluffy stuff, the light fluffy stuff that is, um, but it's actually very uh, wet and heavy. And I'll show you here just by making a quick snowball. You can see how quickly and easily and how well that holds together, it packs together, it's heavy stuff. And I'll show you how well it holds together by throwing it at this tree over here. Now I wasn't a, you know, a, a, a baseball pitcher by any means in high school. I didn't even make the team, but hopefully I can get this here. <laughs> Hey, oh, look at that. Yes. All right. He's only two feet away, that. though. The accuracy. <laughs> He's two feet away. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, look at that. Live. Dead on every the time. Accuracy. All right. I am looking forward to getting back into the studio. So for now, live in Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.